In chapter four of Robinson Crusoe, it's the morning after the big storm that has shipwrecked the main character, and he investigates the damage. He sees the wreck about a mile from shore. The crew might have survived if they had remained on the ship. At low tide, he's able to swim to the remains of the ship and climb aboard from a rope. Most of the provisions are still dry. He moves the supplies to the island on a raft that he builds. He takes food, tools, guns, and ammunition. In his first 13 days on the island, he makes a total of 11 trips to and from the wreckage of the ship. He takes more tools, nails, clothing, a hatchet, a grindstone, sails and rigging, a hammock, cables, and money, and many other items. And he also brings ashore a dog and two cats who survive. Surveying his new surroundings, he verifies that it is an island, and it seems uninhabited except for birds. He's seen no wild animals but he uses the crates as barricades at night for his new home anyway. He discovers a herd of wild goats. He settles on a spot by a hillside with a view of the sea, just in case a rescue ship arrives. He sets up a tent by the hollow in the hill. He builds a fence, strong and sturdy around the perimeter. He begins digging in the cave to make a proper dwelling, and he sets up a post to track the passage of time. He starts a journal and even builds a table and chair. One of the first things taken from the ship, aside from the food, are guns and ammunition. Robinson feels threatened on the island and wants protection, and the guns represent his ability to control the environment and assert power. The items he gets from the ship represent a connection to civilization as he knows it. The clothing and grooming supplies are important to maintain a sense of his own identity, and a desire not to be naked and bearded, to maintain some standards of living. He starts a journal and continues to read and write in order to maintain his sense of humanity. And he brings money back, although it is useless to him on the island, but it represents his hope. He begins building, first a simple fort out of crates, then a more fortified construction around a small cave. He begins changing the shape of the island by digging to enlarge the cave. And he decides to track the days he spends on the island, marking the passage of time. Research has shown humans deprived of the ability to track time suffer psychological damage. Crusoe's desire to make a calendar speaks to a deep human instinct. 